Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's begin the worship service with prayer. Dear God, we are in your presence to worship you. We ask for the working of the Holy Spirit, the guidance of the Holy Spirit all throughout this message time. Receive all the glory and all the honor. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us worship the Lord with this one song and one stanza which says, Rescue the perishing. Let's sing together. Rescue, Rescue the, the perishing. Care, care for the dying. Snag them in pity from sin and the bread. Wait for the erring one. Lift up the fallen. Tell them of Jesus the mighty to say, Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful, Jesus is Rescue the perishing, rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful, Jesus will save. Amen. Today the message says, Children, of light. Amen. Scripture reading comes from the book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 5 to verse 10 and this is what the word says. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we are fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not practice the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All who have received Jesus Christ in their lives, they are children of God. And the Bible today tells us that God is light. And in him, there is no darkness at all. Amen. So who are we then? We are children of the light. Hallelujah. We are children of the light because God, our Father, is light and there is no darkness at all in Him. <coughs> Hallelujah. We must be a unity of life and fellowship. <coughs> we are a spiritual family within the union of Christ. For this reason, we must allow unbelievers to also test the life of Jesus Christ. That's why we do evangelism and we challenge ourselves even to reach one more person, to call the person one more time, reach them one more time, persuade the person one more time because we want them to join this family, spiritual family, <coughs> family of God. Hallelujah. And that is the reason for the existence of the church. We must daily handle this commission. Because Christ saved us, we must relate this amazing grace and spread this ministry. Hallelujah. Without realizing Jesus' life, how can people ever be, be set free from their family problems, their addictions, their greed for material things? 
Christ is the only mystery of setting mankind free from the fundamental problem of mankind. The problem that is recorded in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 6. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why God created human beings in his own image was to have fellowship with them. He could not have fellowship with animals. That's why he created man in his own image. So that he can enjoy continuous fellowship with man. Hallelujah. But man's fellowship with God got broken. As we read Genesis chapter 3. Man who was once with God got separate from God. Man who was once holy became a sinner by nature. Man who was holy became a sinner and a captive under the control of the devil. Man fellowship got broken due to the disobedience of the first man, Adam, in the Garden of Eden. Now, mankind unable to solve this problem, they were destined for eternal punishment in hell. However, God, rich in love and mercy, opened up a way for restoration. Hallelujah. And the method that God provided to restore mankind back to himself is Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Only through Jesus Christ alone can we enjoy spiritual fellowship with the Creator God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if the world may criticize us of being self-righteous, we have to continue proclaiming that salvation is found in no one else. But there is no other name and a heaven given to man by which we must be saved. The book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12 says that. Because it's what God's word says. We must testify of this unique gospel fearlessly wherever we go. Christ came and sold our past, our present, and the guaranteed us of our future. That is the power of the sinless blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have met God through Jesus Christ. And we the most important priority in our life is meeting God. Hallelujah. Believers who have met God must live a life that realistically engages fellowship with God. Each and every day. Live a life that realistically engages fellowship with God. Through continuous prayer and through worship. Through reading his word, a life that engages fellowship with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle John guides believers who were spiritually stagnant at that time. He reminds them of their spiritual identity. Every time you engage in fellowship with God, you are reminded of your spiritual identity. And your spiritual state is revived. Hallelujah. Amen. Through today's passage, Apostle John emphasizes that God <coughs> is light. And because God is light, we are children of light. Because God is light, I am a child of light. You are a child of light. You who have accepted Jesus. You who have believed and accepted Jesus Christ in your heart. I bless all members of Mombasa Mission Church and all believers joining us through YouTube platform. May you spiritually influence your field by shining the light of the gospel that is in you. 
Hallelujah. Now you may ask, how can I make a spiritual influence in my field? Point number one. The experience of who God is. The experience of God who is light. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us experience God who is light as you have read in verse 5. Apostle John mentions that because God is light, there is no darkness in him. Hallelujah. Amen. And in his light, all things are revealed. All things of darkness are revealed. Remember, work of the devil is a work of darkness. Within the light of Christ, that every element of darkness is revealed. Therefore, to have fellowship with the Holy God, we must be free from sin that represents darkness. Hallelujah. <coughs> sin represents darkness. How is this possible? It is through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the light, and Jesus is life. First John chapter 1, verse 4 and verse 5. Jesus is God, and there is only one God. Ever since Jesus came in the New Testament, we don't see Jehovah God being mentioned in the New Testament. This is because Jesus Christ is Jehovah God. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in darkness, but darkness could not understand, it could not overcome the light. Hallelujah. When Jesus came, those who were trapped in darkness did not receive him. John chapter 1 verse 10. He said he came to his own, but his own did not receive him. Verse 12. Yet to all who received him, he gave them the right to become children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though they were right in front of Jesus, they did not receive, they did not realize who Jesus was. There are people who come to church for years. But they don't realize that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray that you may realize that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. The only way to meet God, the only way to wash away your sin, and the only way to destroy Satan and Satan's work in your life. Hallelujah. Just as light is an attribute of God, darkness is an attribute of Satan. Hallelujah. And we are in a spiritual battle. What kind of battle? It is a fight against light and darkness. The work of darkness, which is the work of Satan, the work of demons, they want to weaken us spiritually. The more we fellowship with our God, who is light, the work of darkness will continue to crumble in each and every one of our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Never forget that demons are real. Just the way God is real, demons are real. Hallelujah. Amen. So be spiritually alert. Even if we are in the highly developed 21st century, the spiritual reality has not changed. And the spiritual reality will not change. It remains the same. The more science advances, the more people make the mistake of seeing the spiritual reality. Forces of darkness have a singular goal. They want to keep man separated from God and in a state of unbelief. And they want to lead man in the path of eternal destruction in hell. Because the devil cannot block you from receiving salvation. They are trying their best so that they cannot 
so that they hinder you that you will not be able to receive grace. You will not be able to know God more. I will not be part of this life movement. Hallelujah. Children of light are in a life movement to share, to shine the light of the gospel, the gospel of life. Hallelujah. Non believers should be receiving life in the church. But the church are kicking some non believers out. And yet, the church should be spreading Jesus' life. The devil is using patterns to destroy people and eventually lead them to eternal destruction in hell. The only way to free and be free from this destruction of Jesus Christ, the light of life. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's lead people whom we interact with to understand and to be able to see the light of life, to accept the light of life and be free from darkness. Hallelujah. And to you who has never accepted Christ, accept him and change the master of your life. Before I was my own Lord, but now Christ is the Lord of my life. Hallelujah. Amen. When light comes, darkness flees. When light comes upon your life, darkness flees. So Jesus Christ, the light of life, brightens our lives. I pray that your life will be brightened Amen. by the light of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Even as you believe in Jesus who is the Christ. Those filled with Jesus' life are always thankful, joyful, always praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I may the joy of the Lord be your strength even this hour. Hallelujah. As you enjoy the joy of the Lord, as you experience the joy of the Lord, there will be change even on your facial expression because Jesus' life, the light of life, transforms us inside out. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's why it manifests even on our facial expressions. Point number two, the life that walks in the light. Verse 6. To walk in the light is to be free from the problem of sin. Because sin is work of darkness. And the word tells us the blood of Jesus Christ purifies us from all sin. Let us trust the purifying work of the blood of Jesus Christ upon our lives. Religion does not know original sin. All non-believers are bound by the original sin problem. But when we accept Jesus Christ, the original sin problem is solved in our lives. And as we continue in our walk of faith, yes, our feet get dirty. We need to confess. That's an example of washing our feet. You remember time when Jesus was washing his disciples' feet. And he reaches, when he reached Peter, Peter said, you cannot wash my feet. But Jesus told Peter, if I can't wash your feet, then you're not part of me and my ministry. Peter said, then not only my feet, but my head, my whole body. And Jesus told him, whoever has taken a bath does not need to wash his whole body again. He just needs to wash his feet. And you are already clean because of the word that I told you. Hallelujah. Now, the moment we believe and accept Jesus Christ in our lives, the blood of Jesus washed away all our past, all our presence, and are guaranteed as of our future. Now, as we live in our work of faith, we still make mistakes. We still sin. But... What do we need to do? We need 
to wash our feet. In other words, I mean we need to confess. That confession is like confessing our sins on daily basis. First John chapter 1 verse 8 you've read. If we confess to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will purify us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. So we need to confess our sins and lead a life a life in the light, the light of Christ, the light of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And because we all make mistakes at one time or another, we do not need to condemn others. We all need the gospel. Those who judge and criticize others have more to be judged and to be criticized for. Instead of judging and criticizing people, let us pray for them. Let us intercede for them. Knowing that in Christ, there is now no condemnation. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 and 2. There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For in Christ Jesus, the law of spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. We are free from the original sin. Let us walk in the light. Let the light of God shine upon our lives and reveal all dark areas in our lives and may they be defeated in Jesus' name. All elements of darkness in our lives be defeated in Jesus' name even as we confess them before our God. In conclusion, I want to say this. God is light. We are his children. We are children of light. Let the light of Christ shine in our lives and through our lives day and night. And may we spread the right spiritual influence in every field that the Lord takes us. God bless you so much. And may we live as children of light. Because God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. Amen. Let us pray. Yea, God, I give you glory and honor and praise. I pray that you may fill us with your Holy Spirit. Lord, may your grace be abundant upon our lives. May each and every one of us enjoy fellowship with you, O oh God. And wherever we go, may the light of life continue to shine. And may darkness continue to crumble wherever we go. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless us.